My name is Joy Allen. I'm a student here at East Georgia State College. We all have a story, and my story kind of begins when I was 15 years old. Uh, I was a, uh, got pregnant at 15, I uh, was in high school, and uh, me and my husband, we married, uh, had three children after that. Um, so, been married 31 and a half years, and um, so I was just kind of the stay-at-home mom, focused on my family, raising my children. Uh, my husband went on and completed his education, got his bachelor's and master's, and I kind of, you know, was in the background kind of looking at how he uh, has grew in his career and of the accomplishments that he he had gathered through the years. And so as my youngest son um, began his senior year of high school, I was kind of like, what am I to do? I've been their mom, their supporter, all these years, and now that role is kind of coming to an end. And so I just kind of really started thinking about myself, about what I wanted for myself. I had a job, but I wanted more than that. I wanted a career. One day I just got online on the website of East Georgia State College um, and filled the application out to submit it and kind of sat back and waited. The moment I stepped on campus, I knew this was it. I knew this was the place I wanted to be. Um, watching the professors and students interact, um, it was, it's become my second family, um, my second home. I spend more time here oftentimes than I do at home. And so, to me that is important. That's important for um, students coming right out of high school, I feel. That's important for us non-traditional students going back to college is we need that little extra support there and to lean on each other. I have never once been looked down upon as uh, anything other than a student, uh, even by students themselves. I, I, every class I have been in, I have felt like I am just part of them, no different. They've never looked at me as being old enough to be their mom and, and possibly grandma to some, but I've just never been looked at differently. Um, and they have been super supportive of, of me and encouraged me and oftentimes just pushed me to the next step of really looking at the full picture. After I graduate on uh, December the 14th, uh, 2019, I can't believe it's, it's actually almost here. Uh, that hit me last week as I drove on campus, two and a half months, I'll be receiving a piece of paper, uh, what most people think of, but to me it's so much more than that. Um, and so from here I will be starting Georgia Southern University in January. Um, I have a couple of classes to take there and then I will be applying for the nursing program come fall of 2020.